Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a couple ways you can make your iPad's virtual keyboard even more useful than before. And these are a couple different tips, uh, things that people don't really know about uh, for the most part, and they really can really streamline how you type, things like that. So to enable some of these features, first of all you're going to go into settings, and then from there you're going to scroll down and click on keyboard. And in here you have a couple different options, auto capitalization, auto correction, check spelling, enable caps lock, and the period shortcut. And I have these all turned on. And if you want to really fully take advantage of what I'm going to show you here, you'll need all of these on. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring up the keyboard and I'm going I'm going to go into pages for that, but it works with the notes application, you know, whatever you have. First thing is on the iPad when you want to put in a capital letter, you either hit shift and then type your capital letter or if you're typing in everything in all caps, you'd have to hold down the shift button and then type what you want. Uh, but say, now once you have that uh, shortcut turned on in settings, all you have to do is double tap the shift key, and you can see it highlights it blue, and now you can type everything in capital letters, and when you're done just hit it again and it'll go back to normal. So that's a real handy feature, uh, it's a lot easier than having to hold down this button and then trying to type, uh, that can be kind of cumbersome, you know, and it's not the easiest way to do things. Another thing you can do if you're typing a sentence, so hello, and you want to put in a period, yeah, instead of hitting this period button, what you can do is you can hit double tap the space bar, it adds a period and puts in a space for you. So then you can keep typing, you know, like you were before. And it's, it's that easy, it really saves time, you don't have to hit period and then space bar, you can just double tap and you're on your way. Now let's say you're in a word and you want an apostrophe. Normally you'd have to hit the 1, 2, 3 button on the corner and then hit the apostrophe key. Uh, but with these settings enabled, what you can do is if you flick up on the comma, it'll insert an apostrophe for you. So normally I'd hit comma. Now if I flick up, there's an apostrophe there. So just an easy way to insert apostrophes very easily. And with the period key here, you can do the same thing, but uh, with quotation marks. So if I flick up, it'll give me quotation marks. And that's one I think most people don't know at all. That's probably the most hidden one Apple never really talks about. Now the other thing is you don't really need to type apostrophes at all if you don't want to. If, you, if you're fine with it then you know you can swipe up. Uh, but there is an even easier way. Um, you don't even have to put an apostrophe. So say I'm typing can't. I don't have to insert the apostrophe at all. You can see the autocorrect will take care of it and I can just hit spacebar and it'll insert it for me. So if you're used to going, you know, can't. You don't really need to do that. You can just insert apostrophes with autocorrect. Now there's another cool thing you can do here with symbols. So normally if you wanted to do, let's say, an at symbol, you'd be on your regular keyboard here and then you'd press the little one, two, three button and then hit at and then press the ABC to get back to your regular keyboard. What you can do though is you can hold down the one, two, three button, slide your finger over to the at and then it jumps right back for you to your regular keyboard. This works for everything. So one, uh, you know, slash, colon, everything like that. It works. And you don't have to do all that extra work of going back and back for everything you do. And that's really handy. And this works for capital letters too. So if you press on the shift key and slide up to A, it'll put in a capital A for you and then go back to lowercase. Now for the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to head over to Safari. So here I'm on a blank page in Safari and I'm in the URL bar going to type a uh, web address. Let's say I'm going to go to Cult of Mac, so Cult of Mac. Now normally here I would hit the .com key and then go to the website, but let, let's say the website doesn't end with .com. Well, instead of having to type out .edu oops, or you know .net or whatever you normally type in, if you hold down the .com key, you get a whole bunch of different options and I can go to .org, .net, .us, or .edu just by holding down .com and then sliding up to whatever I wanted to, so now .org. And that's an easy way to insert other things other than .com. Now the .com key is not the only thing you can hold down for other letters. Let's say you want to type an A with an accent over it. If you hold down the letter A, you're going to see this little menu pop up, and you have all these different options for letters of A. So if I just hold up and slide over to the A with the accent, it inserts that character for me automatically. Uh, this works for all vowels, so 
E, I, uh, let's see, let's put in that one, O, and U, and we can put in that one. So there's a whole bunch of different options. These are for vowels. Uh, S works as well. There's a couple different things. Any keys that have special variations like accents or anything, uh, they have, you can hold. Any keys that have accents or any letters that have accents or things like that, if you hold down on the key, it'll pop up a menu and you can just slide to what you want. Of course, this doesn't work for all letters. Like if I hold down R, nothing's going to happen because there are no variations of R. So this works with other keys as well. So if I hold down the dollar sign key, you're going to see I can get cents and, you know, the regular dollar sign, pounds, all different things, uh, different forms of currency. Uh, I can hold down the zero and I can hit get degrees. And I can hold down quotation marks for different styles of quotes. And a lot of keys have this, like and or the dash. And these are symbols that you'd normally have to go into your third keyboard to find, and a lot of them are listed here. It's just shortcuts and an easier way to navigate on your keyboard with the iPad. It can save you a lot of time when you're typing if you know what you're doing. So those are some iPad keyboard shortcuts that can make your typing faster, more efficient, and quite a bit easier once you know what to do. So I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.